Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to actually create the death event so we can actually die when we hit the obstacle. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to right-click on our content browser and we want to search for a enumeration. E okay, let's call this game state enum. Okay, let's open it. Here, what we want to do, we want to add a new enumerator. Let's call this not started. Okay, let's create another one. Let's call this uh, running, for example. Let's add yet another one. This one we want to call uh, dead, like that. Okay, let's save. Let's close. Now let's open the GM Flappy game mode blueprint. And here on the GM Flappy, what we want to do, we want to create a new variable. Let's call this game underscore state. Variable type should be game state enum, like that. Okay, and when we compile, we can see we have these uh, values here that we have created or these enumerations. Okay, the default should be not started. Now what we want to do is on the event graph, on the start game, here on the start we want to set this game state. Let's set it to running. Okay, like that. The next thing, let's actually move this game state to the top, so it's the most uh, upper one. Now let's compile, say I'm go back to the level one. Now what we want to do is we want to open the player bird. Okay. And here, what we want to do, we want to create a new custom event. Let's call it dead event. Okay. Here, what we want to do, actually, we first have to go back to our event begin play. Actually, we don't have it here, so let's create it here to the top. So begin play. Okay. Here, what we want to do, we want to get the reference to the game mode. Yes. So let's right click and search for a get game mode. From here we want to check if it's valid, so is valid with the question mark. Okay, if it's not valid we want to delay until next tick and from there back to there. So it will wait a one frame and then try again. And if it is, if it is, if it is valid, I don't know what I tried to say, then we want to get from the get game mode and we want to get to GM Flappy and on the is valid like that. Okay, let's add a reroll and move it to here. Let's select both of these and align. Actually, they were already aligned. Now let's promote this as GM Flappy to a variable. Let's rename it to game mode ref. Okay. Next thing, what we want to do is now we want to go to the dead event. Here we want to get the game mode ref. And here on the start, we want to set it. So set game state. And we want to set it to dead. Like that. Now what we want to do, we want to get the character movement. And we want to stop immediately. Stop movement immediately. Okay. After that, what we want to do is we actually want to create this flashing effect effect that we have on the uh, 
uh, Flappy Bird. So let's compile, save, and let's go back to level one. Let's go to the HUD. Let's create a new blueprint class. All classes and search for a widget and user widget. Let's call this uh, dead class or something like that. Let's open it. Let's add a canvas panel. This we have to add every time we want to show something on the screen. Now on the field screen, let's set it to custom with 720 by 1280. So 1220, uh, 80, sorry. Next, we want to get a an image. And let's move it to here. Now we want to anchor it to the whole canvas. And uh, offset left, zero right, uh, top zero right, zero and bottom zero. So it uh, fills the whole screen. Now let's set it to set the render opacity to zero. Now we can actually rename this to flash image or something like that. Let's create a animation. Let's call this flash any. Now let's click on this. Let's add a track. Let's select the flash image. If you can see that, you want to click from here. So it's selected. Now let's add a render opacity track. It should be set to zero on the zero mark. Now let's move to 0.5 and let's set it to zero. Let's click on this. Okay, and now let's go to the middle, 0.25. And let's set it to 0.25 or maybe 0.5, but you can play with this. Let's first set it to 0.25. Okay, now when we go to start and press space, you can see it is the animation is like this. Now let's go to the graph. And here, what we want to do, let's uh, delete the tick and event pre-construct. And here on the event construct, so it's basically the begin play, we want to get the flash anim. And we want to get from it and play animation. Okay, like that. Now let's move the animation reference to here. Let's get from it. Let's get end time. So this gets the length of the animation basically. Let's add a reroute to here and move it to here. And let's align this. Now, from the end time, we want to set delay because we want to wait until the animation plays to the end. And this will do it. And after that, we want to remove from parent. So we will destroy this widget. Let's compile. Let's save. Let's close this. Now, on the player bird, after a stop movement immediately, we want to create widget. Let's select our dead flask. Let's uh, add it to viewport from the return value. So add to, oh, add to viewport. After that, we want to set a little delay. Let's make it like two seconds. And later on, we will adjust this or change this a little bit because we want to add the high score screens, screen and stuff like that. But for now, Let's just execute console command. This will be restart level. Okay. So now we have our dead event done. Now what we want to do is we want to compile, we want to save all. We want to go to the level one blueprints and we want to open our pipes blueprint class and here on the event graph what we want to do is we want to click on the dead collision upper scroll down and on component begin overlap let's move it here also let's select the dead collision lower on component begin overlap let's move it to here under this one now what we want to do is Yeah, sorry. Uh, we want to get from the other actor and we want to cast to player bird or whatever is your player blueprint called. Now, from there, what we want to do, we want to call the 
actually, we want to first get a branch. So B and left click. Now we want to get our game mode ref. And we want to check if uh, game state. So we want to get game state. Actually, let's move this a little bit further. Also, this, like this. Now, from the game state, we want to check if it's equal enum, this one, to let's connect the condition and set it to running. So, if the game is running, then we want to do the following. So, we want to get from the as player bird and we want to call the dead event. Okay. And we want to add all this code to here because we don't want to call this dead event many times. So yeah, now it checks that it's if the game is running and after we call the dead event, it will set it to dead. So this will only uh, fire once. Now let's add three routes to here, like this, move this a little bit further down. Now we want to copy, hold this code, control C, let's call it down, down and control V. Let's move it to here. Connect it to the other on component begin overlap also. So both of these does the same thing. Object to the other actor like that. Now, when we compile, save, and play, you can see when we hit the pipe, you see the screen flashes and the player drops. Oh, actually, we can still flap. So, what we want to do next, we want to go to the player bird. Here on the jump event, we want to check on the start. Actually, sorry, not on the jump event, but on the action input action jump. Let's actually move this a little bit further up. Here, before the jump event, we want to add a branch. So B and left click. Let's move this a little bit further. Like this, compressed. And on the true jump event, now we want to get game on reef. A ref and we want to get the game state and from the game state we want to check if it's equal enum to running so we can only flap or jump when the game is running okay compile save and let's try again so okay we cannot flap anymore game starts starts again okay now we want to add the border like top and down collisions. So let's open the background. And here in the background, we want to go to the viewport and we want to select the default scene root and we want to add a box collision. Okay, let's call this that collision upper for example now let's set the scale x to 60 y to 10 and x also uh, set also to 10 now let's set the set location to 3500 so it's there at the uh, top now let's duplicate this let's rename it to dead collision lower now let's only change the Set location to minus 3500, like that. Okay, now we want to go to the event graph and we want to delete this, only leave the event begin play. And on the event begin play, what we want to do is we want to get the game mode. We want to check if it's valid with the question mark. Let's actually add it as our favorite okay and if it's not we want to delay until next tick let's connect it back to the execute and if it is valid let's move this a little bit further down and let's get from it and cast to gm flappy okay let's add a reroute to here now we want to promote this to a variable Let's call it game mode uh, ref, like that. Now, 
what we want to do is if you rename this exactly like game mode underscore ref like this, you can compile and save. And oh, let's move the level one actually to here. So if you have the game mode ref here on the pipes and on the background is uh, written exactly the same, you can just go to the pipes. You can copy all this on the on component picking overlap. Control C. And here on the background, you can paste it two times. Now you want to select the dead collision lower or upper, it, uh, the, like order, doesn't matter, and select the on component begin overlap, and the other one, and on component begin overlap. Now you want to get both of those up here. Actually, let's move these a little bit further. So now we can. Oh, why did I move it there? Okay, so we can get these, align them how we want. And connect the object to the other actor and to the other actor. And if you get some errors when you compile, then your game mode ref is not written exactly the same way. Then you want to delete these and get them again and connect them back or you can might not be able to do that so you want to get from here the game state again and get from that okay but if it's the game mode underscore ref here on game mode underscore ref it should work uh, the way I just did it okay now let's compile let's save all let's go to level one and let's play now if you go to the top we will die go to the bottom we will die if we hit the pipe, we will die. So yeah, one more thing, what we want to do here actually, is we want to go to the pipes. And here on the event tick, where we have this movement, let's actually move this set world location a little bit further. Also, Let's get the game mode ref. Yet, let's right click on it, convert to validated cat, connect it, and if it is valid, let's connect here. Let's create a branch. Actually, let's move this even further. Let's move the branch there. And from the true, let's connect it there to the moment. Now, what we want to check here is we want to get from the game mode ref and we want to get the game state. If the game state is equal to equal enum, equal to running, then we want to set the moment. Let's actually align these. So yeah, it will not the pipes will not move if the game mode game state is not running. And this one is just so it checks the if the reference is valid before doing anything else. So let's compile, save. Now when we hit the collision, we the, yeah, the pipes should stop like this. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you the next one. Bye.